Hey everybody, what's up? It's about midnight at our house, which means it's dessert time. <laughs> um, so I was going to share a really easy recipe with you guys today. Um, just because I don't cook a whole lot and I've recently started trying. I'm always looking for just recipes that Carrie will eat, just anything she'll eat. So I made this last week and um, she actually ate it. So I thought maybe I'd just share it with everybody else. So, cool. Let's get started. Okay, so today we're going to be making a dessert pizza. And I'm going to start with, um, here's my, my pizza crust. It's, it's just half a pizza crust. And I bought the pre-made pizza crust from the grocery store and then I used half um, last time for the last dessert pizza we made. Uh, and then I'm using the other half today. So this will make either one small pizza or uh, you can double the recipe and make um, a larger one. Okay, so this is my one eight ounce package of cream cheese. And I like Philadelphia cream cheese. I'm a cream cheese snob and I'm partial to the Philadelphia cream cheese. And not the, not the fat free stuff either. Like this is like the for real stuff because that's the only way it's good. Okay, um, you need flavoring. Um, last time I used vanilla. Today I'm using amaretto because that's just what they had at the grocery store and they didn't have any vanilla. So you want, um, it's not extract, it's like syrup. So this is amaretto syrup and just regular sugar. Okay, so I'm going to start with my cream cheese. I let it soften in the bowl for a little while because I don't have an electric mixer yet. And, um, and it's a lot easier to stir by hand when it's a little bit soft. So um, I'm going to add one quarter cup of sugar. Then I'm going to add one tablespoon of my flavoring. I'm going to mix those three with the fork until it's good and fluffy. Okay, so it's nice and light and fluffy now. I don't know if you can see. Ooh, creamy and fluffy. And um, that's what we want because we're just going to spread it on our pizza crust. gonna spread it on and um, I spread it on real thick and this this much cream cheese will give you um, a whole lot to spread on for a small pizza or for the half a pizza so, since this is the good part we want a whole lot of it so while I was stirring the dogs heard me and uh, came downstairs to see if I dropped anything yet Say hi, Keely. Hi. Hi. This is my um my prize pig. My grandmother gave this to me like for Easter one year, just totally randomly, and I thought it was like the ugliest thing I had ever seen in my life. Let's get a good view. There you go. Look at that hand painted pig. It's a little tail too. Look at that. And I thought it was so hideous and um. I don't know why we even kept it around, uh, but we had it at our old apartment, and when we moved to our condo a few years ago, uh, my sister came over to help us move and proudly packed it up for us, and when she, when we brought stuff over, it was like the first thing to go on the counter. She said it on our counter. She said it matched our ugly kitchen. So, um, yeah, that's our our prize pig and um, I'm sure it was meant for like something nice like cookies or something but uh, we keep doggy biscuits in it so since the dogs are waiting patiently to uh, be fed anything that is dropped can we sit yes you show everybody how you sit sit very good yes Okay, so I've got our cream cheese topping all spread on our lovely pizza crust. And 
here's the fun part. Here's what we get to be creative. Um, Carrie likes hers plain, so with just the crust and the cream cheese. And I'm going to add a topping to mine. Um, you can add just about anything you want to. Um, I'm going to add crushed candy bar. Here's Butterfinger. Check it out. So um, I got a Butterfinger. I'm going to unwrap my Butterfinger. And put it in a Ziploc. And here's, you know, where all your amazing cooking skill comes into play. I'm going to smash the hell out of it until it's little cookie crumbles. Yeah? Um, so let's find something to smash it with. I have a very fancy jar of peanut butter here that I'm going to use to smash my candy bar. Um, I don't know. You can get creative and smash it with whatever you want. I'm sure my neighbors love this since it's, you know... 12 o'clock at night. Alright, we got some crumbliness going on. So, I'm going to pour my Butterfinger crumbles over my side of the pizza. So maybe I should cut it first. Here, let me cut it. Okay, so um, I'm going to cut out the footage of me licking the inside of that plastic bag where I crushed the Butterfinger, but um, anyway, you get the idea. So, um, one Butterfinger is probably sufficient to um, cover an entire large pizza, but um, I only had these two slices here for me, so I went ahead and used the whole thing, because I don't want to waste it. So, um, here we are. Dessert pizza. Butterfinger and plain. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Gee, Jackie, your pizza slices look bigger than Carrie's. But really, it's just the camera. Like, it's just, you know, you're closer to the... Yeah. So. Mmm. Ha. Huh. Oh, that's awesome. Awesome. I'd share it with you, but... It'd be difficult. Mm-hmm.